Middle East are on high alert today after Iran-backed militants fired a series of ballistic missile attacks on several commercial vessels over in the Red Sea. U.S. officials say the attackers also launched a number of drones, which were shot down by a Navy destroyer. ABC's Ike Joshi is in Washington. Three commercial ships came under attack in the international waters of the Red Sea Sunday morning. Iranian-backed Houthi militants claiming responsibility. The Houthis firing ballistic missiles from territory they control in Yemen, causing damage to the cargo ships. The Pentagon says the USS Kearney, a naval destroyer, responded to distress calls from the vessels, intercepting and shooting down three drones also launched by the Houthis. The Kearney, among a number of U.S. warships actively patrolling the area since the outbreak of Israel's war with Hamas. Over the course of six hours Sunday, the Kearney tracked and engaged the missiles and drones fired by the Houthis. The important point here is that the Houthis are playing with fire by launching missiles over U.S. ships. But the U.S. needs to be assured and the world needs to be assured that there's freedom of navigation and that ships could transit the heavily trafficked Red Sea. The Pentagon pointing to Iran, releasing a statement saying we have every reason to believe that these attacks, while launched by the Houthis in Yemen, are fully enabled by Iran. The United States will consider all appropriate responses in full coordination with its international allies and partners. This is the latest attack by the group in the Red Sea. Last month, the Houthis released video showing armed members using a helicopter to hijack a cargo ship. And in late October, the Kearney intercepted four missiles and 15 drones headed from Houthi-controlled territories toward targets in Israel. The Houthis claim their goal is to target Israeli ships. No one was reported injured in the attack. Israel's military claims that at least two of those merchant ships had no connection to Israel. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.